So what's going on guys, my name is Logix HD. welcome back to another FIFA video on the channel. Today is the first video I'm doing for Season 3 in terms of ratings. If you guys have not seen on Twitter, the ratings reveal for the top 10 players in FIFA Mobile Season 3 from the start of the game has been announced. I've taken a break from FIFA Mobile, mainly for the fact there's not much content going on. I know the iOS version of the beta has dropped, might do some content on that. If you guys want to see that, obviously subscribe. If you do enjoy the video, smash the like button. Quite your thoughts down below and hit the notification button. That way you're never going to miss one of my uploads. I did a FIFA console pack opening earlier. If you want to check that out, it should be up there or there somewhere. And you'll be able to check that out. Or it'll be in the description down below. But here we go. It is the FIFA Mobile New Season Top 10 Player Ratings. As you can see, there's a breakdown of them here. So it says the new season of FIFA Mobile is almost here. Bringing with it a whole suite of new features. Well, I must butchered that then. Including a new gameplay engine overhaul, of course. There is that. Gorgeous new visuals and more. Ahead of the impending launch, it's time to reveal the highest rated ba base player items in the game. Now, first thoughts. I personally like the card design. I know a lot of you guys are not too happy about it. You say that the last season was better. The season before, maybe season one was better. I personally like it. It's retro to me. If you guys played FIFA 12, you know for a fact. It's kind of similar to that in the way it's designed. Just without too much of the bouldering. I mean, the cards look pretty cool. Of course, I was expecting Ronaldo to be at top. But it actually gives you some stats here as well. 92 Cristiano Ronaldo. 94 finishing on this card. 95 shot power, 91 speed. Now, the expectation is that nobody from the preseason with their preseason Ronaldo item is going to get this as their item. Just not going to happen. So, don't expect a 92 Ronaldo if you get the preseason Ronaldo in season two. It's not going to happen. My safe bet is around an 85 overall Ronaldo. And that's going to be pretty high considering it's the start of the new season. But if you're going to go down the route trying to get this Ronaldo, Base card, it's a 92. If you somehow pack that in your pre-season rewards, you're sorted for the year. I'm not even joking. The amount of coins you'd have by the end of that is just going to be ridiculous. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a description about it. Saying how he's the world's best player's career. has been packed with awards and trophies. After his high-profile move to Juventus. I mean, he's not performing well at Juventus. But certainly that card is insane. And uh, obviously a few things going on around the backgrounds of him. But... He's got the 92 rated card in this game. Moving on, I expect it to be Messi. Of course, it's going to be Messi. It's a 91 centre forward card. Now, this could be interesting because he's in centre forward. And obviously, people weren't big fans of centre forwards last year because of the formations. In this situation, a centre forward card could be quite useful. I don't know. I kind of hope that there's going to be other versions of Messi. A right winger, a cam, maybe a striker. I expect that throughout this season. Centre forward is just a start. I mean, in terms of his stats, 97 dribbling, 96 ball control, 94 free kick. Of course, he's got to have a free kick. It's messy. Of course, he's got to have a decent amount of dribbling. It's messy. Ball control. Everything's to do with messy. Now, I'm surprised there's no finishing in there or anything like that. I'm sure they're going to mess around with that because they can't let Messi have better finishing or some better stats than Ronaldo. It's not allowed. It's not how it works, okay? So, that's pretty good. We're going to move on to Neymar at a 90 rate, and I think this is as high as it's going to go. So... Interestingly, Neymar is looking at the 90. He's the cover star on console alongside Ronaldo, so I'm surprised he's hitting the 90 mark and not around the same amount as Messi. Could you imagine the scenes if Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, all three of them, was all at the same rating? There would be a kickoff. I'm telling you, there would be an absolute kickoff. I'd kick off. I don't even, I'm not even that big of a fan of Neymar, and I would be losing my mind. But as you can see, 90 overall, left winger. He's not going to be... Very obtainable from the start. It's expected. But he has 94 acceleration, 96 dribbling, 96 agility. They're really showing off the key stats, these players. Finishing and stuff like that is not there. Hopefully, we're going to see that soon. Jumping into the next one is Sergio Ramos. I mean, this guy has the highest rated centre-back card every single year. You could turn around and say Varane might have got a little bit higher. Or at least around the same mark. I would have expected it from Varane. Considering the season he has had in terms of the World Cup. In terms of his personal... At Real Madrid, but 89 overall. Real Madrid with 90 defending, 91 tackling, 93 jumping. Does look like a beast. Certainly going to be very quick. Certainly going to be very talented in terms of defence. I mean, the chances of people getting in from the start, again, quite low. We're going to jump into the next one, which is Luis Suarez. Now, I'm going to straight up disagree with this. 89 rated. The console gave him 91. That's so undeserved. 
Luis Suarez has been slowing down for the past few years. Controversial, I know, but he has not been deserving that. You could probably smack Harry Kane at the same rating as Suarez. Because that is because Harry Kane's quite good. And also because Suarez has fallen off the ball. That's my personal opinion. If you're not going to be up, if you're going to be upset with that, I'm sorry, but I believe that now. 94 finishing. I mean, he hasn't scored many goals, but then again, you could compare it with someone like Benzema, and you, maybe it's justified. I don't know. 93 reactions, 92 positioning. That's a pretty good card. Don't know if it's deserved though. That's my personal fault. Let's move on to the next one. 89 Luka Modric. I mean, certainly deserved. Very, very good player this year. Um. Did tremendous in the World Cup, I'd say. 93 short passing, 93 ball control, 92 vision. Be interesting to see what his shot is like. Obviously, he's not the best in terms of that aspect, but everything else, he looks a bit of a tank. I mean, if you're in number six spot, holding an 89, you're bouldering on that 90 version. Eden Hazard, what can I say about this guy? Of course, I deserve to turn around and go be a Chelsea fan. He deserves a 90. That's me personally. I wouldn't be cheeky enough to say he's a 91, but then again, if you're giving Suarez an 89, you need to stop messing about and give Hazard a 90. I mean, he is a bit greedy. He is like that, but it's Hazard. You can't do that. I mean, 95 dribbling sounds about right. 95 agility, I totally agree with that. 94 balance. Yeah, I would say so. He does get tackled quite a lot from where people just try and take him out because they just can't catch him, but... I think that's a pretty insane card. If I could get Hazard from the offset, I'd love to do a series around him. Hopefully, we're going to see some new icons this year. Maybe a Frank Lampard alongside him. Maybe a Makaleli. It depends how FIFA Mobile go down the route of it this year. But at least, if we can get a Hazard in there, we're going to have a good time. I mean, Lamar is a left wing. Expects him to be a left wing in pre-season for what you're going to get as a reward. So, keep that in mind for now. As it says, make him dangerous across the attack. Winger by trade. Definitely going to see a cam card or at least a different position. Moving on to the next one, another Belgium. Kevin De Bruyne, 89 overall. 94 vision, deserved. 91 passing, deserved. 91 long shots. I'd say it's deserved. I mean, it's Kevin De Bruyne. I, mean, I, I, can't, I can't speak badly on his name because he should be at Chelsea. Shouldn't be a Man City player. Should be at Chelsea. I blame a few people for the fact that he's not a Chelsea player, but... Kevin De Bruyne, as much as you hate him for how good he is, you can't knock him for how good he is. He's fantastic and he deserves the 89 rating. Maybe you could push him up to the 90, uh, the 90 mark. Maybe you could push Suarez down. I'm going to keep going at that because he doesn't deserve that rating. He's been good, but he hasn't been that good. Maybe an 87, 88 I would have gone with Suarez. I don't know. Moving on to the next one. 89, David De Gea. He's not starting off with a base 90. I mean, he's currently playing the Man United side that aren't that great at the moment. I know they drew, they drew with Chelsea recently. I know that they're still doing okay in certain aspects, but I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm just amazed. I'm, I'm baffled that David De Gea didn't get a 90-rated card. He literally saves Man United by himself. So, anyway, 94 reflexes, 90 positioning, uh, 90 reactions, sorry, and then 88 goalkeeper positioning. Deserved. Very good player. Very good card. Packing from this offset, you're going to have such a good time. If you have a pre-season call to our course, you're going to be in pretty much in the money for that. You should survive the early stages of FIFA Mobile Season 3. We're going to jump into number 10, which is where it gets kind of interesting. The number 10 spot, Manuel Neuer. Are you messing with me? Bayern Munich goalie, 91 defending, uh, 91 defending, 91 diving, 88 handling, 88 goalkeeper positioning. Manuel Neuer... I don't actually think he's played many games. I might be wrong, but I'm sure he hasn't played many games. I don't remember him doing really much anything all season. Germany had a terrible World Cup. It's just not been on the ball. I don't know how you can give him an 88, but I guess because it's Neuer and he has been out for injury, I believe, you can probably say, fair enough, he might not have had the season that he needed, but then he hasn't played much. So maybe at 87 I would have given him. But then again, when you're giving people like Courtois on console... I think it's like a 90 rating. Yeah, I'd probably give Neuer an 88. I don't know. It depends how they play about with it. But certainly, that is the top 10 players. Let's scroll back up to the top so you can have a full look at them here. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. There you go. Look at that. They are very, very good cards. If you get any of these cheeky master cards, the Ronaldo, the Messi, the Neymar from the offset, you are going to be in for an insane season, guys. 
that's pretty much it. Thought I'd bring it to you in case you haven't seen it on Twitter or across the internet. If you guys have enjoyed the video, I want you to smash the like button. Comment your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys always in the next video. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.